Dresky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The bow shirt and the number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the suit. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Comoravia and the others? This is all we got. The guest is still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin... I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do.
Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath. What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just... Thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out.
What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? I'd rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. The teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown.
You have a lot of toys. Huh. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean, yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's, it, it, it's a long story, forget it. I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. It helps me focus. That's... I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Thank you. 
where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it.
The last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass. The laboratory terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. The terminals in my laboratory have lost connection to the mainframe. Head downstairs and reset the router. 